It's 10 p.m., it's a Wednesday, and I'm bored. I don't know about you, but when I'm bored, I start noticing very small things that are wrong, little details that I would normally be fine with, normally ignore, just brush under the rug, but in my state of boredom, these small details just aggravate me. They eat away at my insides until I get so annoyed that I must fix whatever is annoying me at that moment immediately. That is a great state to be in, when you're trying to identify pixel positioning issues on a website. So here's the problem. Oftentimes when you're taking a design and implementing HTML and CSS, you'll often run into very small cases where things look fine overall, but positioning of items is off by a few pixels, by one or two pixels. And what I'm gonna show you is how you can both identify and easily fix them all with the help of just an image editing tool. So let's get started. So I have my logo and I have some text on the right hand side. At first glance, everything seems fine, but upon closer inspection, you'll see that the text isn't vertically aligned properly with the logo. You can see that, you know, there's might be a few pixels off. I don't quite know how much, how, how badly off it is, but let's go ahead and figure that out. So what I'm gonna be doing is using an image editor. You can use any image editor that you want. I'm gonna be using Fireworks and as long as your image editing tool supports drawing lines and drawing shapes, you should be good to go. So let me go and take a screenshot and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in Fireworks. And I have an image of the site that I was just, you know, on the browser. So what I'm gonna do is this. I see that the alignment might be off a little bit. So the easiest way I'm going to do that is by actually drawing lines. You know, my eye is not that good enough to figure out exactly how badly the alignment is off. So let me zoom in a bit. I'm at 400% right now. And let me just draw a, a, just a one pixel line. So let me give it a color so it's visible and I don't want it to be pixel soft. I want it to be a hard line. So let me just go and draw it. I'm gonna draw from the bottom of the text all the way to the edge. Okay. So you can see that the bottom part of the line has been, no, the text has been drawn. Let me go and just move it up a bit to get the top part as well. All right, so now I have drawn my lines. Let me zoom in a bit just to make it more clear what's going on. And you'll see this. Notice that the alignment is off by a reasonable amount once you zoom in. You know, the bottom and top part of my text is not centered with the actual text that you have on the right hand side. So let's go and figure out how off we are. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and just draw a shape. And let's make it a red shape so we can see it very clearly. Let me kill my outline. And I'm just gonna draw a square. Okay, the square is six pixels in height right now, but let's make it seven so that it is perfectly covering up the gap that is left behind by the alignment being off. Okay, it is off by seven pixels there. And let me just draw a line here. This one's pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty obvious given the size of the line that is probably one pixel in height. So what I'm gonna do is I can see that this square is one pixel. This is seven pixels. So overall, the alignment of my logo with the text is off by around eight pixels. And if you do the math very quickly, you'll see that the solution would probably be just move my text up by three pixels. Once I do that, it'll be centered just right with four pixels on the top and four pixels on the bottom. So let's go and do that. So I'm gonna go back to my page. I'm gonna just quickly just, you know, prototype this in Firebug. Let me just go ahead and click my logo. You'll see the very appropriately named selector for my logo called the logo. And let me just move everything up by three pixels, like what Fireworks told me. So margin top, and let's make it three pixels. Okay, sorry, negative three pixels. All right, so that looks much better. Let's just verify that it did in fact fix the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a bit. And let me just go ahead and just delete the current screenshot and just paste my new one in. Let me send everything to the back. And let's go ahead and get it approximately in the right location and zoom in and get it just right. Okay, so I'm gonna move my text down a bit and notice right here, my text is aligned with my logo. 
And if I go further to the right, you'll see that everything seems to be positioned correctly as well. Just as a sanity check, you know, if you want to really verify that it did in fact fix it correctly, let me just go ahead and just make it a little larger. Move the square over. Okay, this is four pixels in height. Let me copy and paste it again. And you'll see that this is four pixels in height as well. Perfect, the alignment now matches. All right, so there you have it. A really quick and easy way of being able to both identify and fix all sorts of problems related to things being off by a few pixels.